today we have the story, What Should Danny Do? by Gannett and Adir Levy, illustrated by Matt Sadler. Okay, this book was actually donated to us by these amazing people um, because they are very encouraging of youth to read. So we're going to read this story, What Should Danny Do? I love this story. I use this story in my classroom so often because it has nine stories in it. Um, and it all depends on the choices that Danny makes. So as we read today, I'm going to be calling in on you guys to de determine um, what choices you think Danny should make, okay? And then we'll see how his day is based on these choices. All right, you ready to get started? Yes. All right, what should Danny do? Also, at the front cover, it kind of shows you if you're like, how do you have nine stories in a book? At the front cover, it, it teaches you and shows you how to navigate this book. There's a green arrow that means keep going, turn to the next page. There's a black question mark. It says turn to the page that your choice says to go to. There is a um, yellow arrow that's kind of in the shape of a box. This shows you which page you came from. Um, and then also there is a end stop sign looking um, picture and that is where the story concludes okay so let's go ahead and get started what should Danny do hi my name is Danny my favorite things in the whole world are soccer superheroes and ninjas I also love skateboards but I don't have one yet you may be wondering why I'm wearing this cape oh let me freeze wearing a cape can you stand up for me, please? We also received this awesome cape from these authors because we are using our superpower of the power to choose. Thank you so much. All right, so let's continue. You may be wondering why I'm wearing a cape, so I'll let you in on my secret. I'm a superhero in training. That means I have some superpowers, but I'm still working on the rest. So is it, is it okay for you to still be working on getting a little better? I think so too. Like on books? So say it again, Jay. Like getting better at reading? So if you're not a really good reader, you can just keep practicing until you get better? I love that. You're right, girl. I'm gonna say that like you're gonna say that too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great ideas. So for example, let's see what Danny can do. I jump super high, I run super fast, I have super muscles. And even though I can't fly just yet, I'm still working on it. <laughs> so, Daddy says that my most important superpower, superpower of all is my power to choose. With this power, I can change my day by changing my choices. He even gave me the coolest cake so that I won't forget up to me to make different choices today is a special day because all of you will be helping me to make good choices all right so let's see if you guys understand some good choices let's see okay. then we'll see if the power to choose really does make a difference in my day are you ready yes, yes. all right let's go Mm -hmm. Do I smell pancakes? I love pancakes. I zoom downstairs. Chocolate chip pancakes. Mm -hmm. I yell as I zoom down the stairs. Mommy, you want that one. Oh, KG noticed something. He looked at his face and he noticed that his face isn't so happy, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's keep reading. But then I see my brother Charlie is eating from my ninjutsu ninja plate. That's my most favorite plate. I want the ninja plate, I say. I know you love that plate, Mommy says, but Charlie is already eating from it. She puts two pancakes in front of me, but they're on an alphabet plate. I already know all my alphabets. All right, what kind of decision does he have to make? Um, okay. The decision to um, be the older brother and um, make the right choice and just use the plate to have 
Okay, so we have to be a little bit more mature and say, you know, it's all right. It's just a plate and then let his bro younger brother eat off of that plate. You got another decision? What other decisions did um, he make? He could just um, stop being so greedy and be thankful for the food that he got. So he can just can't even even just think that, hey, I got <laughs> yes. chocolate chip pancakes. It doesn't even matter if they were on a, a plate, paper plate, huh? Good. Anything else? What? Sorry, I, I think these are great ideas. You have another one, another choice. Um, what other choice could he make? Play a game. He could play a game. Okay, let's see. So, the two choices, which we'll, we'll make it that, that decision, is should Danny eat the pancakes on the alphabet plate and just be thankful, or should Danny yell until he gets that ninja plate? Which one would you guys like to do? Go ahead and just just eat off of the alphabet plate. Because it, it doesn't matter about the plate. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, I think that's a great idea. So, so let's go ahead and try it. We're going to now go to page 26, okay? okay. Mommy? Yeah. Um. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens because you guys chose to not really um, get a little upset with your brother all right but okay can i get the ninja plate next time i ask mommy smiles and says of course the pancakes are delicious i can feel them charging my superpowers with every bite after we finish mommy tells us to get ready because we're going to the park score i love the park do you want to set up a lemonade stand while we're here? Mommy asked. Yes, I say. No way, Charlie Pouts. I want to play at the park, not do any work. <laughs> not do any work. Mommy tells Charlie that he can play, but we won't get to share the money if he doesn't help me. I quickly get dressed then make a big lemonade stand. And we're gonna keep going because that was the arrow at the bottom. You see it? Yeah, the green arrow will keep going. Okay. I get 10 lemons, two pitchers, and just a bit of sugar. I'm lucky I have the super muscles to carry it all. I squeeze the lemons, but the last one is really hard. I summon my super strength and finally get the juices to come out. But then, oops, the juice squirts right into my eye. Ow, it stings so much I start to cry. And Charlie points and laughs at me. We're freezing. We have a decision to make. Me, me. KG, what decision can, can Danny make? Um, let me. He can do what? Be, he can be not nice? Yes. What could you do if, you, if, you, if somebody makes fun of you? What is a not the best decision? What can you do? You can do, punch him? Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm going with KG. <laughs> Just beat him oh, up? Yep. Oh I'm my goodness. Or, I drive then. Oh, or you should not even worry about him crying and just go rinse your eyes out? Yeah. Okay, what else you got? Okay, so get a little, so let's see what we have, okay? He could stomp really hard on Charlie's foot and then run and go tell his mom, yeah? Or he could tell Charlie that isn't nice. Stomp on his foot. We're gonna stomp on his foot, okay? I mean, that, that is a decision. That's, we have tell the power. Charlie, that's not really we nice. have the power to choose, so we can make many choices and we can check, let's see. So if we're gonna stomp hard really on his foot, then we're gonna have to go to page 56. All right. Ow! Charlie yells back at me, and then he stomps back on my foot and tries to grab me. Meanie, I yell. Ah! Charlie roars. I push him off of me, but my super muscles are too strong. He bumps into the lemonade, and it spills everywhere. Oh, oh man, now I can't.
can't even have my lemonade stand. Mommy can, comes in and looks at this big mess. He started it. No, he started it and knocked it over, I say. He pushes me. He pushed me, Charlie yells. Boys, boys, Mommy says. You need to clean up this lemonade so that we can go to the park. All right. We come to another standstill. Okay? We got to make a decision. Are we cleaning up the lemonade or are we refusing to clean up the lemonade because, you know, it really wasn't my fault. Clean up the go lemonade. ahead and clean it up. Oh, okay. It's just a little mess. All right. We're going to go ahead and clean up the lemonade. You're going to help me turn the page? Because we're cleaning up the lemonade, we're going to page 24. You guys are doing so good. How do you think his day is going to end? Really good. Pretty good? Okay, let's check. Really yeah, you going to help me? Yeah, let's see it. Here, let me see. Come sit with me. Yeah, thank you. You're a great reader. Are you ready to read? Mommy isn't happy with how I behave, so now we actually are stuck at home all day. After lunch, I have to clean my room. Cleaning my room is no fun when I know I could have been at the park instead. Later, my tummy begins to rumble like a bulldozer. That means I'm hungry. Mommy. If I ask mommy for a snack, she'll probably give me something I don't want. Oh, but I think my superpowers need chocolate to recharge. Mommy thinks I can't reach the top of the pantry where she keeps the candy, but she doesn't know I can. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I can climb like a super spider. Miss Kitty, yes. Cleaning your room is just like cleaning lemonade. Yeah, well, right. That was that wasn't too challenging, right? But now, what do you think the decision is? Oh, I would say sneak some chocolate from the pantry. Go ahead and sneak the chocolate. No, 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 Ask mommy no. permission. Yeah, ask permission. Ask, ask permission. permission. All right. We'll go ahead and ask permission this time. <laughs> we'll ask permission. If we ask permission, we're going to go to page 62. Yes. You want to help me? Okay. You want to be all done? What do you want to do? Boy, calm down. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's check. Let's check, Phoenix, what happened? Oh, Danny asked his mom for permission, and mom makes me ants on a log, but not with real ants. No, no, no. They're actually raisins. It's a yummy and healthy treat, and it charges my superpowers super fast. I let Oreo, that's my doggie, lick my sticky peanut butter fingers, and like magic, they are all clean. After I'm done, my mommy gets a bath right <gasps> Who likes that bath right there? Me. Look at all those bubbles and toys and look at mommy's face. How do you think she feels? Happy. By making some of those good choices. It looks like he even made his mom feel good. Yay! She gets my bath ready just how a superhero likes it. Not too hot, not too cold. Filled to the top with bubbles and toys. How do you think your day went today, Danny? She asked. Uh, I think it, it went some good and not so good things at the same time. And realized that most of it all was because of the choices I had made. Tomorrow, I'll try using my powers to choose to make it a better day. You see a symbol at the bottom? So, that means that we have concluded this story. And I believe it's the ninth story. Yeah. He's our squirrel. So, because we ch made those choices, not so all the way good and not so all the way bad um, choices, in the end of the day, it still didn't turn out too awful, right? My favorite thing about this story, though, is that his mom reflected on the day at the end of the day. Has anybody ever had a day where you just made really bad choices, but then you got to the end of the day and you thought about it? Yeah. But guess what, what does that mean? What happens the next day? That means you can think about it and the next day make better choices based on how things went. Because that's life, right? Always learning? Mommy. Yes. Anything Mommy. else you guys want to say about this book? Oh, no. Mommy. That Mommy. Mommy. It's like a book I would probably read again to choose all the other choices that we didn't choose. 
So you're telling me that you really enjoy this book and that you'd like to read a little bit more to see Mommy, how different Mommy, days could end based on the Mommy. different um, choices you can make? Mommy. I think that sounds awesome. Mommy. I'm I love this book. This is a great Mommy, book. Mommy, I love that book. I would probably read Mommy. that by myself. You would probably read it by yourself? Thank you. I love that. Mommy. Anything else? It's probably a book I would read at night if you tell me that I can. I, you, a book that you can read at night by yourself so that you can kind of go at your own pace? I like that. And maybe I might read it to Brooke. And read it to Brooke? Or KG or something like that. So you guys have just said a lot of great things. This is my, my favorite thing about this book is not only can you read it by yourself because the level um, is at a medium level. I think it's a medium level for young children, meaning that if you've had some practice in reading, you can do pretty well at this. Um, but it's also a great book that encourages other people to get involved and that way you can pair read and pair reading or reading with others is one of the best ways to grow your vocabulary and grow your ability to read okay well thank you guys for joining us and next time we'll see what should danny do in the next episode sound good